It was quite hard, actually. It's gr it's great. I get I get the volume stay. Go back and watch this whole video. The cast of House of the Dragon talks about shooting that show on a volume stage, aka a V stage, and they talk about how it's amazing, but there are also some limitations. Volume stages are kind of new, but they offer so many strengths uh, and so many cost savings and frankly, so many uh, opportunities to be safer while making a final product that's as good as something that requires you to shoot out in the middle of nowhere. So what are your alternatives to using a volume? Well, you can go travel on location, but uh, I can tell you that that is incredibly expensive, cost prohibitively expensive in most instances. And there's a lot of danger that comes along with it, especially when you're going to a sort of rural location and cast and crew are traveling a long distance to actually get their set up and shoot. There's a lot of physical danger that's involved in driving to those locations, working long hours, and then driving home every day. Another option is a green screen where you're on a stage uh, and you're just surrounded by green and it all gets added in, uh, in post-production in a computer, right? Um, so this has been a thing for 25 years. And if you wanna know what the early days of this looked like, go back and look at the behind the scenes for uh, The Phantom Menace. That was shot in the, uh, the 1990s. And you can see what Liam Neeson and Hayden Christensen were having to work with uh, way back in 1998. So with both green screen and the volume stage, it's just way safer. You don't have to move the cast and crew around. Everybody can just show up to work on the stage every day. And it's just so much safer and more comfortable. And it allows people to focus more on making a great product in the safest, most comfortable environment possible. Now, do you lose out on the feeling of the wind on your face or the sun on your face while you're acting? Yes, you do. But uh, your audio is also way better. So like, because you're shooting in a controlled environment, uh, the likelihood that you're gonna be able to use production sound in the final mix is just dramatically increased. Whereas if you're out shooting near the ocean or something and you have a dialogue scene, all of that is gonna have to get re-recorded in post, right? So you're really sort of trying to marry two performances, the one on camera and then the one uh, dubbed in a studio later, and the results aren't always great. In general, I think the volume is gonna be a revolution and you're gonna see more and more and more filming with it. And the audience is not gonna be able to tell. I mean, I work in the industry and I had no idea House of the Dragon was shooting on a volume.